It's one, two, three, shoot. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, shoot. I win. Yeah, paper. The pen, the pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> hi, I'm Isaac, or hi, this is Isaac. Hi, this is Isaac. My name's... <laughs> uh, my name's David Hubbard. This is my wife, Samantha. Hi, I'm Shelly Cobb, and I'm Kevin's wife. Um, Kevin Cobb. Uh, my wife is Shelly. This is my son, Michael. Our Hello. daughter... Our daughter Haley's in the house, she's nine. So, my name is Susie Bradley. This is my wife Shannon. This is Adley. We've got Everly in the womb still coming out. <laughs> I looked at the camera. You did. <laughs> I gotta control myself, okay. Hi, my name is Phil Brewer, and this is Sonia Brewer. My name is Carl Nickel, and this is my wife Lisa. <laughs> Should we no. redo that again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what is common between all of us. Uh, we used to joke that it's just a random bunch of people, but uh, something keeps us, something we have in common keeps us together. So, you know, most of the people in our group are, are they're all younger than us, and <laughs> young kids and babies, and so in some ways I guess we feel like grandparents <laughs> in, in the group. Or, we're kind of um, we're kind of stuck to each other, <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> you know, you don't necessarily get uh, really tight relationships when you're in a big congregation on a Sunday or a Saturday night. And so having that authentic community outside of the church in a home setting kind of gives you the opportunity to be real. It changes your whole experience at church. I think it makes this big church seem a lot smaller. I think for me, like, I've lived in a lot of areas where you don't know your neighbor, you don't know um, even the people you go to church with or anything. You can kind of show up and disappear. But when you step out and you start opening up to each other and you start doing life together, uh, that totally changes the dynamic of not just going to church and seeing them at church, but it changes the dynamic of how your family lives. It's gone beyond just an impact group. You know, it's a friendship and we always have somebody that we can fall back on. I'm confident that not a day goes by we don't, we're not in contact with somebody in our group. Going to church on Sunday is like Christianity light. But then <laughs> you, know, you get into an impact group and then it mm -hmm. uh, encompasses your life. Um, you don't get that from church. You're there to hear a message um, and maybe going to small group they're there to hear your message. Well, being the age that we are, we just felt like we could get in a rut. And so we felt like staying with the younger couples in our group, we felt like they would keep us maybe motivated and um, maybe help us be stay, you know, get out of our comfort zone, not try and slide into this comfort zone that isn't necessarily healthy. So um, we've really enjoyed being with younger couples in that way because they, anyway, the couples we're with, they just are really wanting to grow and we wanted to be in that kind of environment too. An environment where you can be real and you, you don't have to pretend and you have people in your life that look out for you and want the best for you and that you can confide in. Well, I don't think you can be authentic without being vulnerable um, if we're not <clears throat> letting down our guard and showing each other our real side and just being open and honest. Like, we can't be authentic. No. We have to be vulnerable. We have to know that they accept us for who we are and they love us despite of that. It takes you out of your reality, but it also brings you back to reality of, you know, of other people's lives outside of your own. There's an accountability, uh, you know, a responsibility to, to keep your Keep your focus where, or your center, I guess, is probably a better way to say it. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but there's some truth in there somewhere. <laughs> We've changed in our thinking um, just about who we are and what we do in life. I had a, a period of my life that I wasn't um, a, as close to God as I should have been. Once we were able to get into the small group, uh, Kevin and Carl and Phil, and the men in, in the, the small group really encouraged me to continue my walk with God. And um, I, I thank them for that. And it's definitely changed me. For me, the more that I'm involved with other believers, the more that affects my walk. If somebody doesn't experience that or doesn't know that, I, I, think, you need to, I think you need to try it and, and see what that's about. Because once you, once you have it, you don't want to lose it. 
feel like it's so vital to your Christian walk. I don't, I mean, real, I mean that sounds so Christianese, but, um, but it's true. If we can't go on a weekend, we're dedicated to be there on Thursday. You know, I, I guess that might sound bad, but that is our church. That's the extension of our church. We're designed to do life with people and there's no better people to do life with than the people in your church. And when you break that into a smaller group and you really get to know people on that level, um, that's what we're made for. You can come, but you can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better than Carl and Lisa's? <laughs> <laughs>